a huge step forward. That's how the family of Jennifer Kessie is describing how they feel after an agreement was made to release thousands of documents pertaining to her missing persons case. Kessie went missing 13 years ago. For the past two and a half years, her family has been fighting Orlando police to release all their findings so they could do an investigation of their own. And that happened yesterday. News 6's Vanessa Ariza is live in our newsroom with more on this tonight. And Vanessa, you spoke with Kessie's family when they were in court back in January and again today. How are they feeling? Lisa, they feel like this is a step in the right direction, but with it brings the added fear of what if? What if we don't find what we're looking for? What happens if we get the files and we get into the files? And it's everything we know. Drew Kessie spoke with us from his home in Bradenton today. The fight over his daughter's investigation has been won. But now, the future is what brings added nerves. We know a lot. But what happens if it's everything we know? That's a tough thing. The Kessies took Orlando police to court in January, fighting for the release of their daughter's investigation. I don't think it's been from a result of people not trying. Um, but yet there, there are many different ways and there are many different avenues to go down. That's what he and his family's team of lawyers and investigators are tasked with. As of yesterday, they've received the first three months of the investigation. With the full release in progress, he's hoping to get past a hurdle they have been met with for more than a decade. It's hard to believe, but after 13 plus years, we're stuck on day three when her car was found. As stated in the agreement, part of the release includes eight investigative notebooks and at least 16 hours worked per week to produce the material for the family. We hope that some way, somehow, even with a little luck, uh, we get to, to find Jennifer for the good or the bad, but to bring her home where she belongs. And we asked Orlando police for an on-camera interview today, but we were told there was no one available. They said that the agreement should serve as a statement, but it doesn't say why the department decided to come to an agreement now. Lisa, Justin. Vanessa, thank you.